All right, so let's get started. I'm actually pretty excited about this today. Um, the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, it's like my jams, you know? <clears throat> Which is to say, The Binding of Isaac is my jams. So I'm actually calling this daily run number one, but it's actually a lie. I've played the daily run already before. Um, I like the idea of the daily run. It's a good idea. Definitely gets people excited. Interesting. Oh, that's too bad. I don't think I really want that any- I don't know, I guess like... With, with Maggie's terrible damage, I guess having that would have been a good idea. I just don't want to lose my evil heart here. Also, has anyone noticed that, like, I find that the, um, rooms are just always cloudy and obnoxious. <clears throat> Why does everything have to be cloudy? But yeah, I was super happy with, uh, the original Binding of Isaac. It was a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun playing this one. Yes, I know, I've been playing it off-stream. It's actually quite saddening. I'm glad those flies fell in two holes and died. So this is going to be a really long fight. Thought I could squeeze in there. I think Maggie's just a little too big. It's kind of unfortunate. It was really difficult to dodge Monstro's uh, burst. At least in my opinion it is. See? It's because it's like lob-like. Lob Oh, well, at least he seems to be nearing death. I'm just gonna do that so that I can uh, get a bit of a recharge on my little yum yum heart. And oh yeah, my my absolute plan for playing this is uh, we're just gonna run with. Actually, I guess getting that P thing early, number one. It isn't so bad, considering... Are they gonna walk into fire? I don't think they are. I'm too smart for that. Uh, Alright, let's press this button. As usual, spiky rooms are awful. <clears throat> or curse rooms, as people would call them. Let's, I think this run is going to be horrible with like tons of HP and uh, nothing else, but we'll see. Looks like there's a bomb of some sort. Let's see if we can... I don't think we can actually get there. It's actually going to be a really boring daily run. Actually, one thing that I don't know is from having played this a few times in recent is... How, like, the scoring and all that stuff. Obviously I want to do well. It seems to be based on time, based on items. But uh, it's going to take forever if I don't get any items with Maggie, so... Uh, I'll come back. I just want to find the... There we go. <laughs> I just want to find this room right here. I don't really care to blow up the... Uh, Things. Oh, hey. Actually, maybe I do. We don't know what it is, so we're gonna take it. Wow, that is. It's pretty sad. It was poop. Okay, wealth of chaos. It's actually bad. Coins will drop me some bombs, which isn't a bad deal at all. This will be somewhat of a long fight, even though Fistula doesn't usually have that much health. And his bombs can be useful, if we use them properly. Which, I guarantee you, we will not. Because it is hard to figure out your damage. And 
so far we're hoping to find like, you know, those new exciting afterbirth items. We did it! Now if we're lucky, we would get a devil deal. Oh good, the magic mushroom. That gives us some power. My cat is actually quite intrigued by this game. Alright, we're gonna go over towards these small rooms. Don't think I care to do a challenge room. Oh, you never know, I guess, with Maggie, what we can run into. There we go. This is a much more exciting room. Um, which is to say it's connected to the treasure room. Hence it's excitement. For me, anyway. We're trying to get not in the exact trajectory of these flying dingles. Dingle dongles. Because <clears throat> we don't want to get hit by them. Luckily, the magic mushroom. Ooh, a bomb. That would be uh, quite useful in that. The D12. I don't know what the D12 does. Let's take it. Re rolls rocks. What? Holy. <laughs> cool. That's wacky. That's wacky as hell. Uh, that's not gonna do anything. I could take that. That's fun. And kind of weird. Okay, I shouldn't waste time. This is my daily run. Gotta blow up the mushroom. I think I'm just gonna keep the coin. So when I pick up coins, I get bombs rather than an increased chance of getting bombs. So this rerolls rocks? I think her heart's way better than this. I don't know why I left the yum yum heart. Oh well. So, we'll look to kill, clear this big room. I like that the new like style of room is the three, like the right angle room. Kind of a random, like, ooh, that's an exciting style of room. I'm willing to... Oh, we can reroll these rocks. That's kind of fun. Oh, and rerolling rocks means you could, like, have the potential to, to turn them into poo. And then be able to, like, walk in. So let's reroll these rocks. Yeah! The power. I was really hoping for something good. Fortunately, that wasn't the case. Probably was a secret room. Uh, do I go in the shop? Let's go in the shop. I'm not terribly interested in anything in the shop. Except maybe that key. I'm going to count on the fact that I can later on find another key. <laughs> oh my. It's an angry looking spider. Okay, alright. And there's the bomb that I was hoping for from my... I was about to say, I don't remember what these guys do. They drop little yellow flies. And I can reroll some rocks. I'm pretty excited to do that right here. Totally helped with one dude. It was a win-win situation. Oh, there's another set of TNTs over here. Might as well set off all the TNTs we can. You never know what'll kind of explode out of rocks. Certainly a huge waste of time, I'd say. We've been. <laughs> Maggie is not the fastest of the characters. Let's find out what this pill does. Uh, I don't know what that pill did. Just a bunch of question marks. What does that even mean? Yeah, I don't think this color.
color of Gertie actually shoots you, I realized. And I don't know if I should really keep the D12. This is my last chance to uh, go back and switch to my little heart. Not that I'm a big fan of the heart thing either. Four charges for a, for a heart is not the most exciting thing. Alright. Most exciting... Okay, I totally thought I was done the fight. <laughs> Apparently not. There we go. We can take some hits. Hey, that's nice. I'll take it. I mean, who wouldn't just take that? It's just sitting there free and lovely. Mm -hmm. Let's go in the long room for no other reason other than it's the long room. Never go in the long room. I hate the long rooms. Always more enemies. Ooh. I just like having the power to reroll rocks. It's so it's so powerful. I don't quite haven't thought of like the use of that yet, but when I do, it will be a great day. A key? Well, aren't I lucky? Hmm. This is not really what I was hoping for, but now we can bust all the rocks that we re-roll, so hey. Uh, let's not step on that. Okay. Alright, so maybe Maggie's not the one best to be dodging homing shots. Another key to possibly run into the shop. Do I want to go in the shop? Actually, I'm okay with Greed hitting me so that I can get more bombs by uh, <laughs> picking up coins. So, that's cool. That's cool. I'm down. Yeah, okay. I'm glad that it drops... Uh... I'm sure everyone can now hear how angry my cat is at this uh, choice. Step on the ones with explosives. And so going the that way was not the greatest choice in the world. So it did get me the stompy power. Oh, oh, oh. I must admit the D12 is probably the worst of the Ds. And I didn't know that this would drop Troll Brom so often, actually. I'm pretty impressed with that level of droppage. I'm not doing a very good job of not getting hit, in case you didn't notice. I'm sure you did. Personally, that's fine by me. Alright. Oh. It's actually been a while since I've played this lovely game. Come on now. Is it not here where the door would be? Well, let's reroll the red poos. Oh, you can't. That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. Getting a hit a lot more than I do in greed mode, that's for sure. I like how his bullets slow down. I just say I don't like it.
Okay. At this point, do we mix our stats? I think we definitely do not mix our stats. That would be the worst choice. I think if you're able to step on poop, you should be able to step on enemies that are poop. I'm glad now that I'm playing this game, my level, the number of words that I say that involve poop is increased exponentially. Yes! I love those little holes in the ground. So exciting! Yet yeah, so rare. This room is surprisingly annoying. Okay, speed up is great. I'm happy. Speed up. Speed up. Got a ton of bombs now. We could totally switch our trinket at any point. Do we go in the curse room? Ah, uh, yeah. I think you might lose score from getting hit. Am I understanding this properly? I should pay attention when I get hit. I definitely get score for having items. You definitely lose score for getting too many, uh, like, Pickups and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I'll take the goat hoof. Yep. Definitely a useful thing. <laughs> I'm gonna reroll this poop. Okay. So I'm learning I'm learning how the how this thing works really. The poop the the re-rolling doesn't always work as well as you'd want it to. Can't re-roll poop. I guess because poop isn't rocks to begin with. That is an important distinction. Come on. Oh god, this is... This is a room to re-roll, you know? Definitely. Crush all the skulls, right? Just crushing skulls can yield the dark hearts. And then you're like, boom! We roll all of them. The skulls are so useful. Oh dear. Well, this is going well. Hey, I'm gonna gamble a little bit. I always fire. While uh, gambling in case a fly pops out. Speed up is useful. Let's grab it. Why would the... Uh, Definitely looking for my item room. I don't think it's this way though. I feel like at this point we've gone too far. Gone so far. Oh god. We keep blowing ourselves up by walking on things. It's these kind of uh, little nuances of the game that you kind of forget from not playing it for so long. Oh yeah, there's the shop. Teleport. Which, you know, isn't so useful once you're right next to the shop. But let's go in. Okay, blue candle is something. Let's get this tarot card. Judgment. That's not the one I was hoping for. But I think the game knew that. I think it did. Let's check out what this pill does. Addicted. Oh, sweet. I actually don't know what addicted does. 
Um, I'm not gonna give away my life because I don't have much to give away. I think we're about to just find the um, the ex the boss room actually. I don't want to find the boss room. I want my item room, which is clearly up top. So we should probably just go back. So let's go back and grab the item room. So right now I'm not feeling Maggie is so hot. I mean, we'll crush all those rocks over there too. There it is. Just as I suspected. Let's reroll these rocks. Why not? It's more exciting that way. More potential for me to step on oh, things that explode. Awesome. Um, yes. We'll actually reroll this again. See, this is like using the D6. You gotta reroll everything in a very intelligent fashion. I'm not gonna use temperance, so I'm just gonna blow it up. No, I couldn't blow it up. I failed to blow it up. Fantastic. Some crap thing, that's fine. Could teleport back to the shop if I was super lazy. I'll save it for Necropolis 2. Break all these rocks in the hopes of finding a tiny rock. Now do I give this guy any health? I don't think so. I'm not sure I feel so comfortable with my ability at this moment in time. Whoa. Especially with these masks floating around. Death. The Hermit. Let's see if we can use Death in here. Against Loki? Probably not. Look at all the room I have for activities and dodging. Yeah, so Death probably isn't going to get used. I think I'll just take it to the next floor. like the death card for its many useful uses, usages, as in killing big groups of enemies. Come on, Loki. There we go. And this thing, I'm pretty sure this thing just gives you some random trinket, which is lame. I'm like, wow, what am I going to do with stupid loop worm? Uh, and then we can go to the next floor. Didn't think so. I think we can check for. I almost never check for. I suppose if you have the bombs to check for it, might as well. I could have death this room. This room's a pretty big room. You know, you death rooms that are like super annoying. My room wasn't super annoying. Hey, buddy. Let's give you a couple hearts. Nice. This is good. I can make this work. There we go. Who knows those little X's? And you're like, what do you think the X marks? Like this X that I'm standing on? Right here. This X. Should mean something. Ooh, I should really save that. I don't actually plan on saving it. It was just an accident that I walked away from it. I could death this room, but it's probably not too bad of a room, considering that guy just kind of bounced right off of me. Probably a good idea that I saved the uh, eternal heart there. But I'm actually not going to remember how to find it again, so we're going to grab it and then just assume we have the skill to contain it. Yeah. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> that was not the reaction I was hoping for. I was hoping the worms would, you know, explode. 
They these guys have a lot of health, these worms. They spawn these little dudes. Okay, we're gonna break all these. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm be like, oh chaos card is awesome. I'm gonna drop justice. I'm gonna pick these up. Grab the chaos card, walk out of the room. Oh yeah. Not sure where that came from. Oh, I must have picked one up from the... I feel a... Like there's a secret room in here somewhere. Maybe there isn't. Oh, there's a door over there. This leads back to the beginning. As you can tell, I have no sense of uh, where I am on a map. Don't need that coin. No siree. I'll take it. Let's see our... Do we really want to use two keys to get a ton of bombs? We're going to have a ton of bombs. Not that many keys. Smash all the rocks because you have a chance of getting the uh, small rock, which is awesome. Oh my goodness. Go. Okay. Now what happens if the rocks are not within smashing range? I guess we can re-roll them. Okay. Um well let's get this thing, because I mean is this balls of steel? This was balls of steel. Let's take it. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Oh, hello. Eh, let's do this. Oh, come on. The first one I break has to be an enemy. The second one I break <laughs> just has to be an enemy. Okay, now I'll just kind of kill them. In this hallway of tears. Nice. Yeah, you leave the fires there because they can sometimes walk into them. And then the fires do your work for you. Okay, no pin. Fires are actually super annoying when you're trying to clear. Yeep. Alright. Try to not get hit by these guys. Gimpy is being quite kind to us, dropping us some soul hearts. I'm just gonna take some more hits, because I can. What's this one? The Joker! Nice. We're on Necropolis 2, though, so I'm gonna use it right now. I don't actually know. Oh, actually, I do know what the Shadow does. I was gonna say, I don't know what the Shadow does, but I remember now what it does. So what the shadow does, I'm pretty sure it drops these little, like, leech dudes that love you. Okay, I like the chaos cards. I'm going to try and make use of the high priestess. Yeah, I think when you get hit, the shadow drops these little leeches, which kind of, like, attack things for you. It's pretty cool. Okay, I really need to stop stepping on those. And if I do step on them, they really need to stop spawning those things. The rate at which those things spawn? Much less. Not impressed. Or at which, sorry, the things, I'm, by things I mean hearts. Usually I expect a lot of like evilly heart type things to spawn from the skulls. I haven't seen a lot of those. Maybe I'm just unlucky. It's a luck thing. Yeah, I'll open that. We got a key back for our troubles. So far, we're doing a real good job of keeping this. Uh... Oh dear. I hate these new guys. Yikes. We're doing a real good job of keeping our uh... our eternal heart going. Oh yeah, we can not use that at all. Uh, 
Yeah, we need the map for this stupid sight hat to be useful. Also, longest hallway ever to get to, Mom. Crash. Crash, but I think, I mean, there should be some here, right? I'll multiply our keys. I don't think we'll use the Chaos card on this mom fight. I think we can handle it. Is that Gorilla Biscuits when he should be in... I guess he, he should be in class. Also good to know that people like... some people like watching The Binding of Isaac. I'm gonna reroll these. Yeah, that's a good reroll. Into this money that's never gonna get used. In the womb. How's the life of Mr. Gorilla Biscuits? This fight is taking a long time with uh, Maggie's lack of damage. Oh, the run was only to get to here. Well, let's pick up this coin. Might as well pick this thing up. And then call it the end. So we are 10,000th, because that was pretty pitiful. So let's see, let's try and figure out like how, yeah, if you take damage, you lose points, time, you lose points, and items, you don't lose many points. So it's all about being pretty fast. I think I did much better the other days. So that wasn't my best daily run, but the other one, yesterday's was pretty good. 